Would you believe me if I told you that one of the best games from the entire major was from Calm in round two in the 0-1 match against Limitless? Uh, probably not, and it's fair if you don't, as Calm is going to get the first of several uh, goofy to ridiculous goals over the course of this game. This was not a series that anybody was really watching, uh, mostly because of just what the context of it was. Uh, as calm is just gonna, I gotta rewind this. Do you guys, do you guys see this? See what he's about to do? So he's gonna watch the little sneaky musty that he gets into this little pirouette at the end here. Uh, this was not really a series that a lot of people had their eyes on. Look at that right there. <laughs> what, what are we talking about? Um, this was not a series a lot of people had their eyes on. 0-1 match, OG had just come off of uh, their loss to Team Falcons, which honestly was pretty close for what it's worth. Not everybody had the best series in the world. Clearly, Falcons were the better team, as we ended up seeing over the course of this event. And uh, Limitless went up against, what, Carmine Core to start things off. Um, so definitely an 0-1 there. But, uh, you know, OG came to play in this one. They, uh, they got back on their horse. They do what... Um, you know, land veteran teams should do. And that's not only bounce back, but also beat teams that, that you should beat. And uh, this was a pretty, a pretty hardy, uh, uh, pretty hardy whooping as a uh, calm with the heads up play is going to go for the bump ahead of the play to make room for his teammates. Um, I want to talk a little bit about just OG and what they kind of should be looking forward to for the next split. Also want to talk a little bit about limitless and kind of you know where we find some of these uh lower regions although a little less on that because i just did a video like a week back about sphinx and how we kind of find these um emerging regions but a lot of this game in this series kind of feels like uh you know when you're like on the nerf hoop and you're in your in your house and uh then your dad comes to play with with you know, like you and your brothers and it's like all right well this is unfair um, you know, clearly OG are the more talented team who should be winning this as we ended up seeing by uh, Limitless getting getting swept out. Um, but no matter no matter how way you look at it, um, a very impressive game here uh, from from Com and the boys. So OG, uh, not to be confused with Optic Gaming, um, is a team comprised of a lot of. Uh, great players who are uh, entering the twilight of their career even though I think only like can all the players on OG drink I don't even know um, it's funny how esports works like that where all these guys are you know older and past their prime even though they're still um, overwhelmingly young but you know I, I thought before the season started uh, OG was a cool roster knew they were going to be a fan favorite but thought they would struggle to score just because it seemed like they're primary offensive outlet was going to be JNAPS, which it ended up turning out to be. Um, but I was just nervous about how much, you know, um, smart thinking as that was a pretty impressive read there by, by Com for what it's worth. Um, nothing right home about, but certainly noteworthy. Um, but, you know, what was this team going to look like? Were they going to be able to score? It seemed like over the couple of uh, matches that they played in the offseason that they really were going to be looking to restrict um, how teams were able to break out, keep some low-scoring games, which we've seen some other rosters find success with in the past. Complexity has done it with multiple iterations as calm. What is this? Let's go back and watch this one again. Um, but, you know, it's great to be able to keep people off the scoreboard, but just a beautiful little double touch there. Easy to keep people off the scoreboard, but if you can't score yourself, um, things can run away from you really quickly. But OG in many ways overcame that. After going 0-3 in the first open qualifier, they end up making a major, which is very, very impressive given how much talent was in North America. Um, but here they were, and you know, they definitely like to punch some teams in the mouth. That was their kind of way of keeping things close. We saw that against Falcons, even though it was a loss. Um, you know, just roughing people up, getting to them before they can make their move, um, and kind of adapting over the course of a series to show some different looks. And when Com pops like this, that is a that is a great sign. Is he going to score this one? I honestly can't remember. No, just pretty great uh, pass attempt middle. Uh, what a beautiful uh, recovery we have there, huh? But this is a team that. Um, 
is certainly still in contention to make the next major. It's not like it was a one and done, um, as you know, I think they kind of know that this game is over, so Com's just getting a little funky with it. Um, but this is a team that we should anticipate uh, seeing some more of going forward. They definitely won't be a one and done if we had to choose one of the two teams to uh, repeat between them and Luminosity. I would probably go um, OG just because I think that they're just um, always a really solid and consistent team. You know, if you throw away the one oddity that was the absolute beginning of the season and then going. 03 in the first open qualifier um, they looked really great and one thing that they do this series included is not lose a lot of series that they um, should be winning when we see some other teams like you know Illuminosity who when I had Corelli on the podcast aptly said that sometimes they'll play up to or down to their competition um, OG don't do that they they always show up and uh and, and give a good effort. So um, really like this roster. I'd be interested to see. We haven't really seen much of any noise from North America. Uh, this comp's gonna put uh, a great pass onto Nolly's car for that one. Can we look at that from Nolly's point of view real quick? Where is he? Right here. Let's go back and get this little uh, sidewall read here. I'm trying to get the little double doink and then just gonna float over and uh, well, why not? Why not, right? You're already you're already up four or three, but um, not a lot of noise from North America from the trade deadline. It seems like they might stay pat with this roster um, and, uh, and and keep things moving forward. But as Com is going to have the hat trick assist to save on four shots, 738 points in this one to put away limitless. Um, but, you know, this was a, a solid team that we should expect seeing more of um, a team like this is definitely going to do uh, better with the passage of time as they kind of gel more uh, with one another and figure out who can be the, the scoring options for this team, where they can kind of uh, look for their opportunities, find more consistent offense, some easier goals, um, and things of that nature. So looking forward to seeing what we're going to get from OG moving forward. Probably not a lot of games like this from Com, uh, at least that we should expect consistently, um, but a couple awesome shots in this. What do you guys think about OG going into Major 2? Is this a team that you could see making both majors, or uh, is are there just too many good teams in North America to assume that we will see this team again? Uh, let me know your thoughts down below. Thanks for taking the time to watch, and until next time, guys, take it easy.